This is Charlie Kao with Travel Mall Media in Medellin, Colombia at the UNWTO General Assembly with Maria Claudia Lacouture, uh, who's the CEO of Pro Colombia, the uh, government uh, agency that looks after foreign tourism, uh, investment, and uh, export development. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Colombia. Thank you. And of course, uh, we were just talking about how, how much, for me anyways, it makes sense to have tourism investment and export uh, promotion under one roof, uh, since they're interrelated. Yes, it is. Actually, when you see, and we have an, a very good example, is about how a uh, investor that comes to Colombia as a tourist decided to make an investment in Colombia, mainly in it, it did the investment in Cartagena, Colombia. And it's not only the investment that he made, it's also that we can provide him with the tools to build the building. The, uh, everything that is needed to create the building we were provided by Colombians. Also the materials that he needs was provided by Colombians. And to make the design and decoration was made in part by Colombian products. Afterwards, what it makes is that the hotel was part of the global uh, promotion of the uh, chain that was uh, doing the investment in Cartagena and it was at the same time the hotel that helped us to promote Cartagena as a tourist destination through the same person that came to Colombia as a tourist make an investment bought products from Colombia and afterward was part of the uh, change that helped us to do the promotion of Colombia as a tourist destination so it's actually very interesting how we can from one part take it to the other one and make not only in development in one sector but in different sectors at the same time. Colombia uh, in the past 10-15 uh, years have gone through uh, a, a path uh, that has taken it to date where tourism has seen uh, double digit growth yes. and looks like it's going to continue that way. How is that tourism, where is it benefiting it? Uh, beyond the Bogota, Cartagena, Santa Marta uh, type, how much of that is benefiting secondary destinations? Medellin, obviously, is a perfect example, which is why you're hosting the UNWTO. Well, actually, it is in different ways. One is the number of tourists that we have received from, uh, from different parts of the world, mainly the United States, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, even uh, there are increase very important from the United Kingdom, more than 28% of uh, an increase from uh, 2013 to 2014. Wow. So it's been, first one is the number of uh, tourists that is coming is not only coming to the main cities. They are going to San Andres, for example, to the coffee trail, the uh, Pereira, que Armenia, Manizales, where are the coffee growers. We are also receiving people that are looking to see nature, bird watching, they're going to Amazonas, they're going to Chocó, they're going to the Magdalena, to Santa Marta, to the Sierra Nevada, Santa Marta. So today we cannot say that the tourists are going only to five cities. To they're expand going to it, huh? expanding. And part of it is because of the promotion that we have been able to do, telling the tourists what Colombia has, what are the magical experiences that we have in our country, so they can experience it. But also the investment that we have received is helping as well. Today we have the main change, worldwide change in Colombia. It's an increase of more than 185% of foreign direct investment in the hotel industry in Colombia. Not only in main cities, but in intermediate cities, helping as well to provide a accommodation, none but the tourists, so they can see the opportunity that we have. So it's a mix of different things that I've been able to make Colombia tourist destination, not the main ones, but different cities that previously was not well known. Of course, it's been greatly helped by the fact that the whole issue of security has been managed yes. and, uh, the, and continue to be managed. And the investment in infrastructure is amazing. Of course, sitting here in Medellin, yes. you know, and I speak to the, the city uh, uh, managers and hear about some $10 billion a year investment, you go, well, that's that's serious money for two and a half million size population. It is. And it's, uh, it's becoming increasingly important to the development of the tourism sector, but also to the country. Foreign direct investment has been increasing and got to the top 
numbers that we have received in many years. We passed from uh, 11,000, 14,000 more or less in uh, 2010 to 16,000 million billion in uh, 2014. It's an increase sixfold that we have in investment in the past year, not only hotel management, you know, hotels and investment related to tourism, but in different areas of the economic sectors. You see that growth pattern continuing? We, we are still seeing it. We today at uh, Pro Colombia as the foreign direct investment attraction entity to attract investment to Colombia. We have a pipeline of more than 1,000 companies that are looking into Colombia to see the opportunities. So we still see that uh, track coming, continue. And what we're trying to do is to emphasize in the sectors that we need more development and innovation. And which are those, some of those? There's, depending on the uh, region, we have uh, divided the country between the 32 states that we have. And depending on the development that the country has to offer, we manage to do a strategy to promote the area that they're needing. For example, here in Medellin, it's emphasizing innovation, telecommunication, the tourism sector, the health sector, and some of the manufacturing sectors are the main areas. Um, in, um, in terms of exports, mm -hmm. everybody knows about your coffee. They know a lot less about, well, I certainly didn't, about flowers, you know, on the agri side of the mm -hmm. equation. And then uh, on the service and manufacturing side, I didn't, I really didn't know that textiles yes. and certainly the, the fashion that, that it uh, designs and, and manufacturing. Talk a little bit about the export, uh, which sectors have uh, seen uh, growth. And, and might be seen in the coming coming years. You talked about healthcare for yes. Medellin, that kind of struck a nerve with me. Well, there is many sectors. Colombia have a very broad uh, offer of products to sell internationally. Today we are getting into more than 200 countries with different products. And what we promote is not only coffee, as you may say. Colombia is the first provider of flowers to the US, for example and it's growing internationally to other countries. But it's not only flour, coffee, or bananas. We have, as you mentioned, the textile sector today. We produce many of the private label, well-known uh, brands internationally. Mm -hmm. There are many of the companies that are producing and buying in Colombia from different sectors. Here in Medellin, for example, there is a huge uh, production of textile and apparel products that are related to uh, sport and products that are related with the um, products that you use at the under um, the control. Undergarment? No. It's undergarment, but there is a pajas. Uh, did you use after pregnancy, you know? Oh, the, oh, okay. The, um, well, I don't really know, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> the thing you should know, but there is a name <laughs> uh -huh. that is... Um, um, so those kind of things, huh? They are diversifying, innovating. We are producing textile that provide you with vitamin A, E, I'm sorry, so you can, if you don't have the amount, the certain amount that you have to consume every day, the apparel will allow you to consume that through the textile. Wow. It also has other textile that can help you to reduce a little bit of uh, your oil or your mass. Oh. So it's developing a lot of innovation, but also design. One of the things that we have been able in the country to develop is not only provide to, for example, Cabin Clay a product, but provide Cabin Clay a product with design. Provide them with some uh, ideas, example. Not only be as a producer, but also like a specialist. The other thing that is very important to highlight is the time to deliver the product. So that help us to promote and to be able to export more products to the U.S. For example, since we had the uh, trade agreement with the United States, we have increased the export more than four uh, percent. If we see to European Union since the trade agreement, we have increased in tw more than twenty percent our export. Today we are not only exporting flowers, bananas, and coffee to the European Union, we are exporting other type of products. We are exporting uh, uchula, which is a very interesting fruit, tropical fruit in Colombia. 
we are exporting all the type of fruits, we are exporting uh, textile and apparel manufacturing products uh, based of um, Madeira. Wood. 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 Thank you. <laughs> As you can see, we have to practice a little bit more. So there is a lot of products that Colombia have uh, opportunities internationally, and we have a very broad. For example, as well, the uh, cars that you see at uh, Fifth Avenue in New York for the hot dogs are made in Colombia. <laughs> but that's another example of how we can be a provider to any type of product that is needed. And we have increasing and the companies are improving the innovation, their development of the product, and be able to be advisors of the buyers. Back to tourism. Um, the, what's the current plan for the next several years um, in terms of markets, in terms of products? We are emphasizing the promotion and looking to those uh, tourists that want to have a special experience, a different spirit, magical experience. Meaning, we're looking to those niche markets that provide uh, a good investment in the country by tourism, but as well in the experience that we can be diversified. Colombia doesn't have an icon. Colombia has many things to offer. And what we wanted to look after is to find those tourists that want to get into the country in one country they can find not only the gastronomy but also the culture, the bird watching, the nature, but also the dancing or the nightlife and have a great diversified experience. So our plan is to continue to promote Colombia as a diversified experience, a magical experience, to continue to attract those uh, tourists that are emphasizing in nature, in uh, different type of uh, products that are are related to uh, adventure, to culture, ethnic, uh, unique uh, products. So actually one of those uh, countries are the United Kingdom where we have been able to do different type of um, package. Today we have a company that is doing a ethnic travel to come to Colombia to see and know and experience what is to live as different ethnic cultures is living in Colombia. Wow. So it's uh, actually we have been able to manage and diversify products to provide a very good service and where are we inviting is to anyone that wants to experience a diversified experience in any country, Colombia is the right place to go. Um, last question is related to perception. Mm -hmm. uh, visiting your website, I see that word is used. Yes. Uh, talk about perception. Well, one of the main things that, that we have to say when we talk about perception is that perception cannot be changed if you, you don't have the reality. And that's what Colombia has. We, in the past five years, have changed a lot the numbers of this country. One is the export that have increased in four years more than 80%. Investment sixfold, tourism have increased, have passed from one million to four millions, two millions if you count everyone that is coming through air and cruise line is more or less two million to four million. It's an increase, very important increase, and that's what we wanted to show through the image. It's not what we think is the reality, is the numbers, are the facts, and Colombia today can proudly say is a different country that can show the world that this is a country of development, innovation, creativity, and magical experiences. And it's quite safe, isn't it? It is. You can okay, I wanted to talk are. about when I used the word perception. Perception on security this has been an issue in recent years. It was, but today we are proud to say that the numbers are telling in tourism that the confidence of uh, coming into Colombia to host the General Assembly, more than 156 delegations from different countries are here today. That's more than what we can say. Maria Claudia La Couture, CEO of Pro Colombia, thank you very much. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy it. I am.